Hey guys, Mixed Media Girl here. So I got a couple more pairs of shoes and we're gonna do some more hydro dipping. Now that I know what I'm doing, I feel a lot more confident. And we're gonna start by taping off. These are both a size eight. So I have one pair for myself and one pair for my niece for Christmas. I'm pretty excited. So we're gonna start with the taping. Okay, so we're all taped up. Not beautifully, but hey, the job is done. Uh, someone suggested on the last video that I take out the inserts, so I actually did that as well, just in case any paint does get in there. Um, they were glued down, so I'll have to glue it back, but that's okay. I also put one piece of tape right here in the inside, but I'm thinking that shouldn't be an issue. And now we're gonna do the rest outside. So the first thing you need is a big bucket. We're going to fill that with water. I haven't found that it particularly matters if it's hot or cold water. Um, you need gloves. You'll ideally want a mask. And then you need spray paint. Out of the ones that I've used so far, I've found the Rust-Oleum to work the best. You can get this at Walmart, Lowe's, or not Lowe's, Walmart or Home Depot, actually. Um, and this is uh, the gloss version. So we're gonna fill up the bucket with water. Then we're going to spray a bunch of the spray in, and then we're going to dip the shoes at an angle, and we're going to fully dip it in the water, move the excess spray paint off, and pull it out. That's the basic procedure. This part is going to be silent though because I'm gonna have a mask on so I won't be talking. But here we go.
All right, the shoes are all done. Right now they look like a hot mess. We're gonna let them dry and then seal them with Scotch Guard and put the laces back in. So we will be back. All right, so we're back. Here's the two pairs. Um, so what I did was I fully let them dry and then I sprayed them both with Scotch Guard. This is a fabric protector. So it should repel liquid, block stains, which is good, you know, especially if you are wearing these and it starts raining or something. I think it should work. I'm pretty confident. Um, this is one of the pairs. And I think I will give this one to my niece because I think I like these better. So these I did with the um, teal, blue, black, and white. I did miss a little part here um, on the tape. I'm gonna actually take, take some acetone and see if I can get that off. And then this is a pair that I'm gonna keep. And these I did with the teal, blue, black, white, and purple. And I think they're both super cool. So I sprayed them with a scotch yard. I put the inserts back in and glued them down. Um, I put the laces back in. So now at this point, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna wear mine for the next few days. And then I'm gonna come back and give you guys a report on how they held up. And you can see that I did get a little bit of the spray paint inside the shoe as well. So I actually did spray that with a little mist of the Scotch Guard on the inside where I saw the paint there. So hopefully that also helps not get it onto socks and whatnot, but we'll see. You know, I'll give you a report on that as well. So we'll be back. Okay guys, so we're back for the final part of this video. Um, so this is the pair that I kept for myself. So first of all, I did wear them and the paint that was on the inside totally did stain my socks. So what is, I did is I actually put them in the washer. Now that also washed off some of the paint outside, even though I had sprayed it with the Scotch Guard, but that's okay. I still love, 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 love how they look. Um, and then even after washing them, they did still stain my socks a little bit on the inside. So, I have a plan for next time. Um, taping off the inside of the shoe is would take forever, but I think if I um, shove some paper or something down in there to at least block the paint, that should work out um, because it's not like a regular paint where it's very liquid, it's, it's like a film. So that should block it. Either way, I still am super in love with these. They came out great. Um, I gave my niece her pair, she loves them and I will be making more of these. So I will see you all next time. Thanks for watching.